Welcome back to the Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl Show. It's time to hang out with Rob, Mike, and Dunia. Whatever you don't want to say, they will with no chaser. Take a shot and let's have a drink. Is hashtag squad goals still a thing? Because they are. Let's go. Thank you guys for joining us again. Thank you. We are now at episode 175. Very humble. But we really appreciate it. We appreciate <laughs> you guys um, paying attention and liking us and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like, not as much as like social media and all those kind of things, but that you enjoy listening to us and us talking to you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this episode we have not done since December of 2022, this type of episode, a true crime. <laughs> uh, we did it in, at that time frame, we did the Dahmer uh, series, and so we're bringing it on back, true crime series, so da, da, da. Um, and we're going to talk about the cold case murders. Um, tequila brought it up. The last episode, I believe. It was a current event. Yeah. Okay, so the last episode was current events. Um, And we have some stuff to say about it. We all watched it and we're going to discuss it. And hopefully you guys watched it or will watch it. There's only three episodes. Yeah. Not the long. Documentaries aren't that long unless. They ain't got them. <laughs> they just keep going. <laughs> they didn't get the culprit. It's like a never ending. But you guys should check it out. It's on Paramount? Mm-hmm. Max. Spoiler alerts. Okay. Paramount Plus. It's not really spoiler alerts, and I'm going to get into that, by the way. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's not really spoiler alerts. Anywho, before we get into that, how was your week? Constructive. Constructive? Yes. I feel like everybody would understand. But you want to give a definition? What if they don't understand? Okay, that's fine. Construct them, build them, <laughs> tear down, rebuild them, plan them. It's a lot of stuff. Construct them. Alright. So you can construct them, you got planning, you got some demolition, you got a new build, um, it could be upgrades, yeah, Pro- progressive, productive. All right. That's my definition. Okay. It makes sense. No more elaboration? No. Nope. Okay. How was your week, Connect? Traveling. Make sure every customer is serviced and taken care of and making sure they buy it more. Of we goods. do it every time. We cannot help us all. What? Traveling. Travel? Oh, sorry. Like, that. just talk about your week. last week. Um, no, I traveled. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I didn't do it that one time out of the ten. My bad. Um, well, I traveled uh, up to the east, north, Louisiana that, um, area, Texas. And um, yeah, I had a good customer. I thought he was gonna be closer, but I promised him his delivery, so I made it happen. And yeah, it was, it was fun. I mean, not fun, but we uh, handled that. So deliveries are important. Uh, and here we go. Cheap you are. What? No. <laughs> My week? Yeah. I, I, sure. I think I wrote it down as a thing. Um, shitty. Um, the week's been a little bit shitty. It's been a lot, a lot going on professionally and personally. Um, yeah. I don't think I have anything to elaborate. I hope I have a really great time tomorrow. And people are invited to some of um, our fun hangout areas <laughs> tomorrow. So, 
looking forward to that. Thank you guys again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully it'll change my mood. I really know how to be a laboration. <laughs> Anywho, before we get into the actual nitty gritty of the true crimes, we have a segment. Two, actually. First one. <laughs> What the fuck with the girl? Okay. I had like 10, and I just have to just hold them off. But my what the fuck, since it just happened this week, and we did current events last week, was um, the Supreme Court, great Supreme Court, um, had to make a decision um, this week on if they would up, up, well, oh, uh, appeal or if they would keep the law that bans firearms for domestic violence offenders they upheld it only one person didn't agree with that in the Supreme Court so a domestic violence offender whether it be female male um, whatever are, they're not supposed to have firearms, whether it's pending or charged. That's a dumbass waste of money. Um, so that's what they decided on, and uh, they decided to keep keep that there, that they should not have them. Um, the only one who opposed to it was my white ninja, Clarence Thomas. I would oppose to it. Yeah, I'm sure he would. No. No, I would have. Yeah. I'd have been like, why y'all got me here? Because, well, I guess you say, I get it. I mean, but a convicted felon already not supposed to have a gun at a domestic violence. I don't know if it's a felony or what, because maybe it's a misdemeanor or something, but thing like that, it's already in place. I just, maybe I just don't know. It is already in place, but it was brought up to you make it not in place. For felons? Or just particular crimes? I mean, it was just yeah. for domestic, domestic violence. Yeah. So that must be a misdemeanor. I, I, yeah. I don't know. It's, luckily, I haven't dealt with that. Yeah. Yeah. However, um, if you're um, a convicted domestic violence assaulter, <laughs> or you're pending, you should probably not be able to have a weapon <clears throat> to go just in the case, which happens far too often. I mean, you can do it anyways, obviously. It happens all the time. But, uh, all right. Dealer agrees with Clarence Thomas, I guess. I, I mean, yeah. I know felons can't have guns. That's what I, I don't know. That's all. I, that's why I'm confused. But maybe it's a misdemeanor. That's why. Maybe that's not a felony. Maybe they should be making that a felony as well. Should be more severe domestic violence in courts. On top of that, I don't know. Well, if I didn't say that's a good that. what the fuck though. I don't mean to jump into your what the yeah. Fuck. I didn't yeah. really want to. Yeah. 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 That was my what the fuck. Right. My what the fuck is probably just for Clarence Thomas. <laughs> there you go. And you'll probably get a lot of them. You know how they have like the donkey of the days or whatever. I think he'll get a lot of them. What an embarrassing human being to me. Anyhow, can we get to our next segment before you start researching? <laughs> And then we can roll it back. Now, our second segment of the evening. Joking with cognac. How did okay. people see in the dark during medieval times? I don't know. Night lights. Night can. 
K-M-I. Okay, well, you, you had, I got it, and then you said my, Ken. Oh, my, Ken. my, K -M. Yeah, I know, I know, night. Yeah, I know how to spell oh, my grammar. Nice. My grammar and spelling is very important to me. Yeah. Yeah. Night lights. And if you don't know, it's Knights. <laughs> Knights. <laughs> like, 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 that's how you just try to explain like, it to our <laughs> listeners. Knights, you know, the armor, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. House of Dragons is fire right now. First episode. They have Knights. Only one, though, if you watch the episode. <laughs> Not spoiler alerting for anything. Um, there's only one knight in that castle, and he's preoccupied. Knight, one knight. Uh, I'm gonna start saying it that way. TM to cognac. Anywho, are we good? Are you done with your research? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is, they wasted a lot of text for everyone. Are you even listening to that case? No, it's a felony. It's already a felony. Yeah. So if they convict it, they're not supposed to have a gun anyway. But it also says pending conviction. Well, that's pending. something different, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, you can also buy a non-lethal weapon, too. Like they can... Uh, yeah, rocks. <laughs> these hands. Six. The fuck? Yeah. I mean, they're free. <laughs> these hands are free. Well, I'm not trying to advertise it until they pay. The fuck are you talking about? I'm, I'm not trying to advertise it until they pay us. A bottle. There, there's a specific <laughs> weapon that's being very advertised that's legal in every state that can disarm someone. My that's fucking legal. stinger is legal sometimes. Right? It's free. If you push somebody down on me, all right. Well, sometimes I look at them and then they fall off a cliff. I don't know. Is that my fault? I, I don't know. The statistics and I know it's not the topic, but probably Absolutely not. I guess this episode's gonna be domestic uh, violence. Chats. Domestic violence cases. I've never been a part of one. No form, shape, fashion, but what I've heard, what I've seen. About time somebody get to their gun, it's too late. Muffin and got hit with the kitchen sink, the, <laughs> the kitchen sink, the chair, the plates, the table. They, they just, you know, they in the house. And most cases, they must just grabbing whatever within his arm reach. But they, I ain't trying to make fun of nothing. But I'm glad they passed that law. It was already a law passed. Oh, they were trying oh, to overturn well, it. They upheld it. The only person that wanted to overturn it was my luck of luck. I seen a, a video the other day, and then I'm gonna leave it alone. I think I think we're just gonna turn this episode yeah. to a chit chat. That's what's gonna happen. Go there was there was domestic violence, and the the girlfriend was like. Ramming into the dude's car. <laughs> I mean, with her car, you know what I'm saying? So, multiple times until her shit flipped over. And shit. <laughs> but yeah. well, okay. So, did, they, would you be comfortable with her having a weapon? That car was a weapon. A weapon. <laughs> <laughs> a pillow's a weapon. <laughs> that's that's what just, I'm saying. I said the same yeah, thing. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. Why are they worried about that law? Like, yeah. Why are they, that's what they're doing. Well, I you, can, you can use anything as a. Weapon. I just set these hands. Oh. Like, I also think that when, in our generation at least, when people think domestic violence, it's like a man beating a woman. And if you listen back, rewind. I said it's both, and it's also not necessarily a partnership situation. A domestic. Violence or domestic disturbance means it's domestic. So it could be you and your mom. Yeah, your son in the you house. You and your kid. Yeah. Yeah. You and it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. We, we have one. On our office. This one, yeah. Anyway, did you guys want to just keep chit-chatting? No, no, no. I'm talking about case murders. Okay. All right. So. Let's see what we got. Um. <laughs> Pillowcase murders. Uh, it is called that on 
it was Paramount or Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus. Um, or just Google. They'll tell you for where you can watch All right. Or or the sneak links or whatever. Um the people that listen to us are smart. They're very highly intelligent and All of them? Yeah. Or are they just being nosy? There's some that are just nosy. Oh, okay. Okay. Anywho. Um I'm kind of offended. I'm just gonna throw this out there and on my side that this happened in Texas. We had a whole ass serial killer here in Texas. Right up the street in Dallas, Clay oh, County. Well, well, that's not up the street. Yep, four you'd like hours, to drive. Four, four hours. hours is a long ride for me. Um, but still the same. Four, like, this shit, he just died. He, spoiler alert. I never heard a damn thing about this four at four all. Four and four. I, to be fair, I'm not, like, the biggest news watcher. Because um, it's depressing. Life's depressing enough. I, I pay attention, you know. But never heard anything about it. You didn't either. And you watched the news. Yeah, that's why I made it a current event. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah look. He listens to the news all day. Like, wh- why didn't I hear about this, man? My goodness. My goodness. So basically, this man, let me just give a summary. Um, and then we can talk about what you actually watch in this documentary. His name is Billy Shamir Mir. He's from Nigeria. Kamir. You know, okay. mm-hmm. I like to say Kamir. It's what's oh, Okay. <laughs> okay. Kamir. I mean, I don't really care how we yeah. pronounce it. I was just saying it so you guys know how to Google or look it up. But Billy Shamir Mir, um, originally from Nigeria. Um, here, from, from here. royalty. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot about the part. He came from like royalty type family. Um, he was here legally. Um, did, did all the proper procedures, so I don't hear about these illegal immigrants or anything like that. Um, he basically was in the Dallas uh, North Plus area um, and killing old people at nursing homes like a lot of old people 22 victims well that they know that that, yeah. that number is still subjective to even the police and the, the sorry ass yeah. yeah um i'm down with old school i don't remember his name yeah like it, not just dallas i don't want to just say i hate you you know i know deal with dallas sorry dallas fans um fresco plano like he was touring that whole area and nobody said anything and i'm actually surprised because we are in texas and he is i told you from nigeria he wasn't from the white skirts of nigeria he's a black man <laughs> nobody's <said anything>. That's <laughs> <news>. <laughs> like, yeah. did you hear what i said he wasn't from the white skirts <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm surprised. In tech, I I uh, didn't know anything about it. My my Caucasian awesome friends didn't know anything about it either. Um, basically, um, all right. So let me just say this. This is my opinion solely. Shame on you to press wood, press in place. You guys are gross. And the owner of that is a really gross person. Um, he was white. Uh, and still white and still <laughs> gross. And yeah. Um, well, I mean, you want to throw well there was a lot you of people. Sorry, that, right? my notes are all over the place. I was just jotting notes like, what the... But honestly, what a terrible person you are. You know... The, um... Jewelry, you know, the police, the, the police. Jewelry was missing, like, literally, I'm not a detective, I am. Jewelry was pulled off, like, you're in a pool of blood, so I don't know if you can see my arm. So it's like, I was killed with this rubber band on my arm, right? And then all of a sudden, <laughs> it's taken off, and you can see there's just this one area 
where there's no blood. And the police didn't pick that up out of... Oh, he just... he. I don't know why he would take that. I'm so this, confused. This, this dude crumbed fifty thousand dollars worth of jewelry. I had ninety. Ninety thousand. Ninety. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. The sound. yeah. Only yeah. one. Yeah. At one place. Yeah. Yeah. The other places went in hiding. I'm mm-hmm. sure. The place by the subway. <laughs> <laughs> he got a sandwich after. Mm-hmm. Right, man. Can't Can't yeah. Like. Yeah. It's so sad and pathetic to me that nobody cared. To me, it, it, I, this was going to be amazing. Because these people are old, it's like you just created this place for them to die and not protect them. God is who's going to bring them home. You have to protect them. People are trying to live their lives. They're busy. And they want their elderly family members. Sometimes elderly family members put themselves in those places. Yeah. They're elderly. They know, fuck, I can't do it by myself. And so many of these places, no security cameras. No, it's just, you just let whoever the fuck in and out. That's fucked up. And it's like, at the end of the day, too, it's almost like, well, y'all don't want to hang out with me. I can hang out. And because I remember the group of girls, they called them whatever the group that they had over there. Yeah, that was at the yeah. fourth floor. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fourth floor club or whatever. Yeah, at the Preston place. Yeah, and they were and, all and, hanging and, out uh-huh. together yeah. and stuff. And, yeah. And then it one was, of them. It was the party floor. Right. And they, and they died. Yeah, <laughs> all right. And then one of them. But uh, that wasn't necessarily them, like, y'all don't want to hang out with me. It's just. Sometimes people realize, I hope, yeah. I pray that I realize I'm being too much Burden, on people. Yeah. And I can go to this place and hang out with hang people out with, that are similar yeah. to me. Hopefully I'm not, not like decrepit and I'm still trying to have fun, whether it be bingo or, you know, a, a shuffle or fucking, you know, because they do fucking or something. Oh, they like do. They, they do things, y'all. Um, the mold, the, the mold whatever. Cats. The old cats. Regardless, you have to protect these people. That should be your number one. Number one. Beside, okay, number two. Medical staff, security. And they let this shimmer That's what I'm going to call him. um, Just walk up and down. Did he just put on a uniform and just walked up and down the hallway? Well, let's not forget. You know what I'm saying? Huh? He was a piece of shit. Well, yeah. And this dude went to Walmart yeah. and, and stalked these people. Yeah. yeah. Followed them home yeah. and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This dude was a fucking piece of shit ass dude. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He'd be in Walmart yeah. and the old lady can be with her husband and he pushing the husband out the way trying to help her with the basket mm-hmm. and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Super piece a fucking of shit. creep, man. Super piece of shit. Stalking these old ladies. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 think, I think tell my mom to watch this shit. There were two in. Uh, did you? I saw me too. Oh, yeah. did you see the two in? She's incidents? never gonna go hang out with old people. <laughs> <laughs> but she don't go to Kroger's, though. I bet oh, she yeah. go to Kroger's. <laughs> the two incidents where I, where I was like, she, she better get that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking on like wanting to go was the the other guy where they're like, oh, he fell from the bathroom. How the hell did he fall from the bathroom, lost half his blood, and, and back into the oh, room? Oh, I have his name. Yeah. Um, shout out to the hero, yeah. Solomon Spring. Yeah, he went. Solomon Spring was his name. Okay, yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Yes. I, I think he, had he was names. one of the first of Shimama Mur's, uh victims. Yeah. And fought back. And he he fought his ass off and then he moved on to women. That's what I think. Yeah. If you watch the documentary, yeah. you yeah. can give your own opinion, but that's what I think happened. And he, he, they said this man fell and I I, I haven't seen that much blood how? since De- a Dexter episode. Well, seriously. He this did, dude he, fell out the bathroom, went back to the bedroom, did this, did that. Hit, like, hit, a, hit a lamp with yeah. his own head. head and did, did, like, yeah, like this. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> like the actual evidence was, was crazy. That was one of the first ones. 
I, I'm oh. not a forensic scientist, but no. If he, I, well, oh, he died naturally. I literally the lamp turned, fell all day. I turned around and said, <laughs> if he had that much blood, he didn't even need to be in a nursing home. Seriously, yeah. a vampire. Right. That much blood and still walking around? That's crazy. And walking he, around doing this? That much splash pattern? But then he went after, I think. And his watch was taken off. If well, you could no see it. Oh, shit. You could see the tan marks. Yeah. And then, wasn't it after that, it was the other... The lady that survived his second attack or yeah. something like that. She wasn't the second. She was after he hit Yeah, she him. was like... Her name was Mary Barton. Yeah, and she, she was probably like 23. Like, face was Mary questioned stuff. Yeah. Or I didn't get the 20... No, I got the old lady. You no, know I'm saying? She was probably not... She was probably 23. He had... Oh, yeah, number 23. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, she... Uh, he thought he killed her. Yeah. He thought she was dead. Yeah. Mary, Mary Bartel. Mm-hmm. I don't know if she's alive right now. I, I don't know. But if you are, you're. I was you're, say, she's you saved a lot of people's like, lives. Yeah. Uh, she saved. Well, she was like in her 80s. Yeah, then, like, yeah. At her own home. He was killing people in their own homes, nursing. He got yeah. most of the nursing homes with their terrible security. Um, and that that's fucking sad. Like. Over a two year span. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, they. It was more than two years. But you saw. It was more than two years because. It had to be a little more than two years. But he they was, worked as a caregiver for two years. Oh, yeah. Well, he was at Edgemere. Fuck you guys. Well, you guys settled, so never mind. Let's just press the place. I have a problem. April, June of 2000. April to June 2016. They arrested him. As a jewelry thief. Mm. Not ca- yeah, yeah, not right. Not but Edgemere still didn't do anything about their security cameras. Mm. He didn't even work there. He didn't work there. Mm-hmm. There were people that reported him, and he didn't work there. Um. Also, uh, Frisco. I think that was Edgemere. I'm sorry if I get the different facilities wrong. This bothered me. It was in episode one, or maybe beginning of episode two. Um, he said, I'm visiting. Somebody asked him, what are you doing here? It was it one of the like physical therapists or doctors? Didn't write her name down. And she was like, what are you doing here? Because he was going through a side door or whatever. And she saw him a second time after that. And he said, I'm going to see Maria in the dining room. But there was a Maria in the dining room. So I'm like, what well, is she working? Who's Maria? Somebody look at Maria in the dining room at that time frame. Because how he knew that was a name. And she knew the Maria in the dining room. I didn't like that. Again, going back to domestic violence, he was also arrested for that. Yeah. <laughs> that, that dude. Had a girlfriend mm-hmm. that he met in the sing in the care business and giving him personal care business. Margaret. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She knew his sister, who owned facilities. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't show her face, kept her blurred out, and he was a monster towards her. Treated her like, mm-hmm. I guess. According to what she said, you know, some give her the benefit of the doubt, and uh, because even like one of the detectives said he was bringing big cash in, and it wasn't wasn't questionable where all this money coming from. Right. But he was from royalty, so (laughs) had a whole kid with her. When she got pregnant, he asked her to get rid of the kid and then disappeared for six months. Mm She thought he was coming to America. Told her a, a woman can't talk to me like that. A woman can't oh, yeah, a woman sure. never talk to me like that. They always hate women. They got the stab My serial killers always hate women. <sighs> Stabbing the pillow. No. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah, what? he was physically, uh, verbally abusive, though. Yeah. What she was, was probably an accomplice. She, she, she knew she was royalty. Yeah. Well, what was it? That's just my opinion. What was interesting to me was that one of the daughters of one of the victims had a pillow with the the lipstick on. And I 
I made a comment to the girl. I said, that's evidence. That's weird that she would have that, you know, because it'd be like a shooting or... Well, once the case throws, they, they get rid of evidence. But then they give you, like, the gun or the knife of your said... They do. Yeah. Right. It's, it's it's good. So what, it's good. Good. What, I, what I explained when he said that was... It was never ruled a, a homicide. homicide. So I and got that. Part. I would literally yeah. go most. You don't know what sun, something that's sentimental to yeah. someone. Yeah. Especially you know they're you know they're old or whatever, and you've been with them this many years, 70, 80, 90 years. Some. Um, you don't know what's sentimental to someone. But and what they did was that that pillowcase was important to that person and she just kept it and luckily she kept it yeah. because that helped with his true. convictions um yeah like true but the, i wear my grandmother's shower cap we didn't I shower know. together it right. just it meant a lot to me. I understand. Yeah. but my question <laughs> is um if i'm wrong about this if there's a case of like your somebody in your family gets shot if they're convicted, that was the gun. It came from this gun. You can request, I want that gun, or does it get hold in the head? They the didn't. In this locker. Again, no, just, I explained it to yeah. you. I actually have this on here, and I said cognac was confused. Mm -hmm. Let me let me read you what I wrote, and then explain it again. The reason or the bullet. The reason people would still have evidence is because they kept normal things that remind them of an elderly family member who passes naturally. They yeah. were told it was naturally. Yeah, that's so true. That's what I agree. Imagine if you thought it wasn't natural and they told you it was. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep every fucking thing. Yeah. These people, because they were elderly, if their heart stopped, it doesn't matter if they were scared, tortured, ran out of breath, hit their head, quote unquote, they were just deemed it was a natural cause. Mm -hmm. And that's that's right. the problem. They, yeah. what, there was it, nobody he didn't go in there shooting up people. No, no, I know. He didn't I go know. in there injecting people. Yeah. You don't have to do much to scare a frightened eighty year old woman. Of course. They okay. could be having a heart attack after you've scared the fuck out of them and then put a pillow over their face to just make it quieter and quicker. Of course. So, yeah, yeah. that's why they have those things. Yeah, because it yeah. wasn't considered a homicide at the yeah. time. Correct. Yeah, yeah. None of it was for a, a, a number of years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know how that worked, but I, I've heard of before they destroy evidence because once it's closed, conventions made, Appeals been settled. They destroy evidence. Now I don't know if they reach out to the families before you know. If you they, want this yeah. certain yeah. thing that killed your relative, they're not gonna say you you like that. It. But yeah, you want it. yeah, I don't know that's just how you yeah. yeah. But no, nah, I'm gonna call you up. Yo, we got the pistol that they used. To, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Yeah. It's that, like yeah, I said, the way he, everything's the a weapon. The he didn't, we talked about. He the didn't go in there shanking people. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. where it's like, well, I was really fond of that butcher knife. Right. <laughs> my grandma used to cook with it. Right. You know, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it was a different situation. That's yeah. probably why we didn't hear about it because it would have made the police force look bad. In elderly homes with that. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. That was my great 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 grandfather's butcher knife. That yeah, I, need, I know many of that back. How many of that? How many of that? Family heirloom. Yeah. Not right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, anyways, they finally caught that motherfucker. Um, oh, the boy was chuckling the whole time. Yeah. I didn't do it. Yeah. yeah. He's a good liar. Oh, is he good? I mean, no, really. he tried to be. He tried. To I be. would, yeah. I guess I don't. Know. I seen the video. And yeah, he stick to sticking to his gun. Yeah, he no matter what they said, yeah. sir, yeah. sir, but, but I, sir, but her no. watch was in your hand. No, I did not murder. Like we have your <laughs> footprint <laughs> in yeah. the. No, I did not murder nobody. Yeah, and I apologize. It was your Asian woman that he stalked. Last name Harris. Thailand. 
Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. They didn't even want to show it to the court or anything. Um, good. Do what you need to do for your mental health. But that's who they caught him at Luton. literally Luton. within within hours with, after he killed her with all of her shit. Her jury box in his dumpster. Mm. Yeah. He had the key, her keys in his car. And some of her groceries. Yeah, and her groceries. Some of some of them. He yeah. didn't take, he went through the groceries. He, he followed like, her from Walmart. Yeah. I, I don't eat that. Yeah. He yeah. But the motherfucker, you know, the lady that survived, he banging on her door. And she said when she seen the, the, him, he had the gloves on, latex gloves on, banging at her door, the blue lady. And she said when she seen those gloves, she knew that her life was in danger. Yeah. And he kicked the door. Yeah. He was a motherfucker. Yeah. He was a bold. Yeah. You know, a lot of serial killers, though, you know, it's almost, you know, mm-hmm. they get comfortable and they just do more. When they get away with it, get away it's with it. It's not even just serial killers, it's narcissists, narcissists sociopaths. People like that, sociopaths, people like that. Yeah, they just, and that, they're like, oh, I did that you know, again. I can, I can do, I this can do it again. Yeah. Exactly. And that's the thing I, m- me and the girl, and I'm sure Mike would agree with that. It's like when they think they can get away with shit, and they're like, ooh, let me test the water. You just said and that. then, huh? You just yeah, said it. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. And then they'll just get bolder and bolder and bolder and bolder. So fast forward oh. to um, him being arrested. Unless anybody wants to add on to that. Nobody wants to add on to that. Yeah, I want to talk about this one, this particular person. Yes. If you go in that route. Um, damn. I want to give him a shout out. Are you talking about a, a man? Yeah. yeah. One of his victims? No, um, his name is Wyatt Busby. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. But we have to talk about what happened at the trial. Okay, let's go there. Let's go there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got Rick, the Wyatt Busby, yeah. Yeah. a hero for the people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so he goes to trial for um, the lady that he stalked and had her groceries, the ones that he arrested. And it was a motherfucking mistrial. I have to talk about this for just a second. 11 one hung jury. I want to tell you whoever that one person is. I hope I don't figure out who you are because I will jump you. <laughs> what evidence did you need? Are you from his tribe? Are you from, did somebody miss something with jury selection? That they had to go and do this shit over? <laughs> like, what do you need? There's video evidence. <laughs> The, nothing was circumstantial. And Walmart's don't have yeah, that much okay. good video. Literally, I, I watched I mean, the video, and I, know, I I'm that was that. the best and video I've seen from Walmart. Level four didn't have the video. Yeah. That's probably what he was. I don't they know. weren't they charging were, him for yeah. those. The the that's my point. Case. I know. That's my that, point. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm talking. I about, could. I was thinking about the box of why he would do that. Right, but it's one case. Why would he do it? Because he got away with it for years. No. They just happened, these these particular people were like, what the fuck happened to me? And that's how it happened so fast. Yeah. Because this woman wasn't in a nursing home. She was like spry and on it, and they got nervous. That's literally why he got caught. Um, yeah. So um, that jury, I would have loved to be on because I would be that means us. The moment we were discussed. Fast forward, they retry it. He is convicted on the same thing because they didn't have a Mulron on that jury. And then he was convicted of another one. Um, <clears throat> the only sad part about that is he got life without parole for both. Um, but all the other 20 plus victims don't have their day in court. Which is sad for the families. Yeah, they overturned both. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they no, they just dismissed them. Yeah, mm. they it was a dismiss, and that's what they kept saying. That word dismiss, it's it's like so her life didn't count. Yeah, basically. but you can't they in this country. Names even on the paper. Yeah, and yeah, they they, just, they just numbers. Yeah, and you can't in this country keep trying somebody. 20 times financially when 
there's no, and Cognac asked me that, why, why did they even try him? And he already got one. Because he's going to appeal one, it's hard to appeal two at the same time. Um, so they knew they had him. So, but I do feel bad. But I also want to shout out to um, the judge that did his sentencing that let all of the victims come and make the statements. Um, I thought that was really nice because they don't have to do that. Um, yeah, they don't. That's why it's only yeah. they don't have to. And also shout out to that man that did his whole statement and then at the end said, Ron Hell, you piece of shit <laughs> on air, on camera air. Yeah. Court, court camera air. <laughs> Well, because so that, that was another good. discussion we had. I said, she'd be like, I curse them. You know, it's so all beyond that. And I said, you, technically, the judge will cut the, cut the microphone. They don't want you to. You no, I just asked, I just asked, asked are you allowed to curse during this or said, not? No, nah, he'll know. cut you off. I'm going to just give my, my version of events. If that was me, I would be Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> and, uh. They'll cut you yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm waiting for you to come downstairs. A time to kill. Then you can say it. A time to kill. I'm going to say everything. Anywho. You can say real So quick. he gets sentenced. You can say it real quick. And he did that. Okay. Well, if you yeah. know a time to kill, you'll know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, he went to jail, life without parole, and um, Tequila wants to shot up. <laughs> Why? Why, yeah. Why, but I work for some busts. You know <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing about what the bus I work with, but uh, yeah. Why? Why do this thing? Why I was serving fifty years for a fatal stabbing, and you know, Billy was about that smoke, and why I was about that smoke. <laughs> yeah. Billy was about it with elderly <laughs> yeah, people. Yeah. Yeah. Shmur, mur, mur, mur. Shmur, mur, mur. <laughs> Got done by Billy. And you know, go Billy. No, go Wyatt. Yeah, yeah, Wyatt, go Wyatt. <laughs> yeah, go, go Wyatt. Sorry, Billy is yeah. really short. You sure me go Wyatt. Wyatt, uh, killed him. That was his silly. Billy was a silly. Yeah. And he says, why they like that one? But he, uh, well, in the court documents, Wyatt's, or Wyatt and other people said that. Billy was making sexual comments about his children, and it can turn into an altercation. Yep. So. Well, that will do it. So, um, in the words of <clears throat> myself, too bad, not so sad. Bye. That will do it. Too bad, not so sad. Don't feel bad for you. But I do feel bad for the victims that never got their day, their own personal day in court, but. Yeah. America. And some of them felt happy. Some of them felt sad. Because they wanted the narcissist to just rot. Um, and some of them were happy he was dead. And some were happy he died the way he died. I'm good with that one. That's just my personal opinion. You, you, I'm over. you beat these old people to death. That's how you went. I'm more of a person that, uh, like you said, uh, how tragic he died. I don't. You were, I don't think he died tragic. Well, that well, that's kind of what we're discussing. I don't feel like he died tragic. I know. Well, that see, that's the thing. So I feel he, like he died good. <laughs> I, I don't have any thoughts about his death. Well, no. What? But I'm. I'm. Me, I'm like, when you do something so heinous, it's like I'd rather you just rot and think of your thoughts and think of what you did for the rest of your life. If you even care. But if you're a narcissist, you don't care. Like, you know, but I want you to be fed slop, you know. You know corn, yeah. corn Papa Doodle said. Corn Papa Doodle? <laughs> yeah. Is that like a... Often, Twitter name or something? What, yeah. Corn box. Corn? I'm looking at Fox News oh. comments. It's often inmates understand justice 
when the system fails us. Good job for once to themselves, man. To my guy, Wyatt. Wyatt Busby. Oh, yeah. Hater number four, that. Uh, anyway, September 19, 2023, you guys. That's when Wyatt killed Chamar. Anybody hear about that? Because COVID was over. What, did anybody hear about that? You both watch the news, hear the news. There was a African-American serial killer. Well, they got a... Serial killer in Texas, y'all. The prison system got press people that manage that shit. They, they, when shit happened in prison, you, okay. you very seldom hear, hear about it. Right. Because they... Not cool. So... Let's go to two years prior. I knew when somebody the trials. killed somebody in prison. Did you? Okay. Speak about it. Cool. Cool. I'm getting from prior prior to prison. You a, know what I'm there talking about. was a black serial killer at wealthy white people's nursing homes. <laughs> did you hear about it? No. On your news channel, or did you hear it on your news channel? Now you're hearing him here all, first. All I listen to is celebrity news. <laughs> well, so well, whatever, Mike, you know. Well, um, apparently, Mike heard news, What I'm saying news, is, news so they, here. They all news. So here. Edgemere. There were three victims there. I'm going to call you out. Edgemere. That was a nursing home. Three victims there. They settled, changed. Security, new owners. They settled everything and, you know, said, look, we didn't want no parts of that. There were two, I'm just getting confirmed, Parkview settled, changed, no new owner, but they settled and changed, did changes, changes as in security. Seven at Preston Place, they settled, changed security, and there's still no cameras there. How many are owned by private investment funds? Most of them. Who knows? Who knows? Most of them. Press in place. You have seven plus two. I'm doing the plus two because they weren't, you know, that was Saul, you know, and the two that they wouldn't recognize. Saul, you know, Saul. He was running around, bleeding out. Um, there's, they settle with some, there's still six cases open and in litigation. They change security, they still don't have any cameras. And Jonathan Perlman, that's the owner. I'll fight you. What a gross person. That's crazy. I bet you, you wouldn't put your own grandparents who are probably dead because he's not a young cat. He might be our age or older than from the picture. Um, you wouldn't, if, I would never put my elderly, somebody I cared about in a place that I owned and thought and said it was safe. I, it's weird. To me. It's it's humanity in general. You shouldn't put anybody or, or a facility that like you have nurses that are abusing them. I mean, this has been going on for years. Okay. Okay. Um, so again, if you're the manager, let's say. No, I'm talking about the owner who started well, yeah, that, who know. is still like litigating against yeah. people you know were killed there. Yeah. Literally, you should pay them. And fix your shit and keep it moving because yeah. there are people that have no choice also, right? Yeah. They have no choice. I can't do it. I, I don't have the funds to have an at-home nurse. I don't have the funds to make sure my house is safe for my elderly person. Yeah. Um, I don't have the funds to make sure her medication is being distributed. That is why a lot of people pick these places. I Okay. What I'm saying, let me finish, because this, is, this was my point of the end of it, mm -hmm. talking about Jonathan Perlman, Perlman, however he wants to 
you guys and men or women who start these facilities, you gotta protect these people. I don't care if they're on their way out. That's not a cash grab. A lot of people are giving their most precious people to you. And expect to get off work the 10 hours they have to spend to give you your their $500 a week they have to give you to protect them and you didn't and to fight that is scary being a billionaire millionaire and to fight these people is scary and they're not asking necessarily for a nominal thing because you already let that man steal their jewelry that was worth shit for you to just say, I'm sorry. It's him and his whole ass lawyers. Yeah. And what? that's uh, that's why I knew he would handle it. I would have been great one, but I, I can't. You you said something. Go ahead, Rob. Um, no, all yeah. I was gonna say is, you know, it's it, it you know, it is a sad fact that um you know, um I, I, and all I can uh, Say is that my great my great aunt, um, she was in a wonderful facility in Belgium, but they you know they paid for it government wise. But my grandpa, uh, my great uncle, was very physically responsible too. So when he passed, she had resources for that too, where she had like you know one of the best spots, and you know we're not. I hate to say it, not as violent or whatever, like this guy over there. But that's the sad fact. Also here, it's like you go to one of those places, if you want a good place, which apparently they're not. You're yeah, Jonathan about, Trauma. Yeah, you're uh -huh. talking about like $10,000 damn near sometimes a month. You know, yeah, for and to that's get great damn near what they were paying yeah. for to yeah. keep the riffraff out. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking about Frisco, yeah. you're talking about playing out, mm -hmm. it's and Dallas, it's like like that's, that's, it's like that's literally, yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah, if you're in Houston, that's literally like it, it, they were keeping the other people out, yeah, it's, because. I saw it develop. Maybe. There was a doctor that was killed. I know, but I saw a like, doctor. I know. Yeah. So what I was saying was, um, what you're saying is our healthcare system in America sucks. Well, what, what I was so saying, you, what, you're talking about Belgium right now. We're talking about this. No, no, no. This was, show. Okay, I understand, but I would. I was giving an example. My example was, it is a business thing because when they when uh off of Bering over there, the senior living here, okay. and then off of Woodway, senior living We're here. We're talking about this episode. Huh? We're talking about this episode, senior okay. living. Yeah. But the, what, so I was gonna, what I was going to say is... We're not is, talking about that. Makes we sense. know what senior living is. We're talking about No, I'm saying that they keep opening up a lot yeah, of... Yeah, there's a lot of... Right. Yeah, it's yeah we know it's a business yeah. thing, yeah. but yeah. you need to make sure that people are, are, are secure I there. I know, that's why. People are putting their most prized possessions there. I no, no, what I can say. Jonathan Perlman, fuck you. You 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 said something. Not you, Jonathan Perlman. Said it's it's not a money grab. But then you just said it is. No, she but said it should be. Oh, oh. And um, and it is. You know what? Mm -hmm. What? Just like like my mom stayed with me, and I know people that do this, and it's something that I never do. My mom stayed with me, and she take care of herself. But if I was, if I was a piece of shit ass dude, it's um. I can set up a quick LLC and say that I provide all this care for my mom. I can have the government come to my house and look that I, I do this and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's people that you can pay that to set it up for you. And the government will give you money to help take care of your mom. You know what I'm saying? And you're not even taking care of her. She's taking care of her. But except you just bleed a, a system. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they provide these funds. These, they, they, in certain parts of the city that I live in, the older parts, you can go buy certain houses, and they don't only do it for older people. They do it for mentally retarded people. 
they do it for halfway houses. Well, I mean, you know what I'm saying? They set up these funds and they set up these I homes. Need to do that one. They set up these homes in neighborhoods like this, you know what I'm saying? And they get all this money from the government to take care of these people and they miss they mistreat you. If one of my coworkers, it was on the news three years ago, they ran into a house and right down the street from his house, they had about 15 people living in the house being, getting the bare minimum, you know, as far as being taken care of, you know what I'm saying? Because they set up this fake ass LLC, supposed to be home care, providing care to these people. And people like really care for their families, dropping their family members off to these people. And it's just a fucking hustle. You know what I'm saying? They beat these people, you know what I'm saying? These people here, they made it to a facility, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and got some type of treatment, and they let this asshole win. But, you know, they really need to crack down on, on this shit. And they, they make it way too easy for people to get money, good money, you know, just to say they're taking care of somebody. And it, it's, it's awesome that our government want to give assistance, you know what I'm saying, but they need to step up their vetting process. They really need to step up their process on on all ends of the spectrum. Yeah, and then and then the U.S. government wants to question well, why do you want to adopt a child. Of, what do you mean? Like it's so hard to adopt a child in the U.S. It's freaking crazy. Now we're gonna get into our third segment of the yeah, evening. Well, we tell you three thousand things about us using this magnificent book titled Three Thousand Questions About Me. Me being tequila, me being cognac, me being a girl. This evening is on cognac. We're going to randomly select the question to ask Not you. I can sing that I randomly over there. Eighteen ninety two. That was, Dude, a good year. that was a good year. Right. For who? <laughs> For them people. <laughs> <laughs> them people. What do you think is worse? Failing or never trying? Never trying. Yeah, never trying. Never trying. That was quick. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. try. Patient. Patient. Always. Try. Try. The try is hard, though. It is hard, but don't come in and say, oh, I don't want to hear that. Did I try. you try? I've, I've, I've tried. Yeah. I try. I try. I try. I try. I try. I try. I've had a conversation about trying before. And I'll never forget the answer that I got. So I told somebody that I'm going to try. And the way they answered me helped change my life. What's that? They said, why you got to try? Just fucking do it. <laughs> just do it. Yeah. Which is weird. Really quickly, I just watched um, something. I don't know. I watched shows when I'm working. But somebody said that when someone says they're gonna try, that means they're not gonna try. Mm -hmm. They're not. They they really are not going to. They don't care enough. It's I'll do it. You just got to do it. And I'll do fail, it. If you fail, get up. Yeah. Do it again. Keep yeah. It going. It's better to say I'll do it, and they're just actively doing it and yeah. saying, Yeah, I'll try. I'm trying to do that. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. I had a conversation on Monday where somebody flat out said, I ain't doing shit. I ain't trying to watch shit. Okay, well, that's, that's a therapy conversation. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you. We love you so much. We appreciate it. We'll be back next week. Also, I think I forgot to say this. Happy Juneteenth. Yes, yeah. it happened. Put your, put your, damn, damn, damn.
<laughs> my burn, it's my burn hands or what you call them? No, it was because right, right. my hands were burned. They was just real like happy, oh. happy Juneteenth. But man, you know what I'm saying? Every time I think about it, I'm like, what kind of shit is that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, well, had, they had been free. They ain't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Know. Well, I now, now I have one more thing to say. <laughs> For those that don't understand Juneteenth, shout out to Galveston. That's why their water's so dirty. Yeah. Because they were dirty bitches here in Texas and the Galveston area. It took somebody to come down and tell these slaves, hey, guess what? You're free. You're free. They were just, they were free they and know. didn't even know it. They didn't even know it. They not like us. Not like us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I love you, Drake, but that yeah. Kendrick yeah. hits hard. All right, love you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs>That's it for this week's episode of Cognac, Tequila, and the Girl. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback. Follow us on all the social medias. Leave your comments and reviews. Until next week, keep safe and keep your squad close. Thanks for hanging out.